to give you a monthly check after you done checked out of this relationship? I'm not with you. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your weight up. Make your money move. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the clean and get your money, sis. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And you might as well go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. If you are still watching and you still watching, you watching this very second. There's this little thumbs up button right here. You can go ahead and go and push that for me. And I would greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get right into today's topic. If you guys did not know already, record producer, reality star, Stevie J, and R&B singer, Faith Evans, was married. They've been married for quite some time now. And Stevie J filed for a divorce. A video also went viral of the couple, which Stevie J was recording, stating or accusing Faith of cheating on someone in their home, and he has filed for divorce. So not only has he filed for divorce, he is also seeking spousal support from Faith Evans. Now, a lot of people have a lot to say about it. He's giving broke boy energy. Uh, he used her for her money. He used her to pay his child support. Um, and now he's um, giving very broke boy vibes. And people are not feeling it. So, I'm not sure if people are saying that he is giving broke boy energy because he is a male seeking spousal support. Or is it strictly because it's Stevie J and... He knows that Faith Evans obviously is the breadwinner in the relationship. So, do you think it's because he's a male or because he's Stevie J? Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But my real question is, when it comes to men seeking spousal support, is there a double standard there? Do women feel as though like it's okay for a man to take care of his ex-wife but it's not okay for a woman to take care of her ex-husband do you think there's a little bit of a double standard there also my personal real real question is what is the point of spousal support now, anybody who is a divorcee up in these comments, please let me know. And if you are seeking or if you have spousal support, you know, I genuinely want to know what is the purpose of spousal support. And now I'm going to go ahead and drop my two cents in on the situation. Now, obviously, I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that Stevie J is Stevie J. We've seen him on TV. We've seen what he has done. We've seen his past with Eve. We've seen a lot of stuff with Stevie J. We know he is messy boots, hands down. But we really thought he had him a winning chicken dinner with Faith Evans. Obviously, it's not working out. But according to him, it's her that's cheating. It's not him. But whatever the case is, he is now seeking spousal support from her. Um, I do feel like people are not feeling it again because it's Stevie J. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that also he's a man. I feel like any man seeking spousal support, such as uh, Mary J. Blige's ex-husband, um, can do. Uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, he's broke. Uh, why you, you know, why are you trying to get her money? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I feel like it's it's frowned upon when it's a man seeking spousal support because as a man, we look at men traditionally as the providers, um, the men who. Um, you know, as you know, they take care of us. They provide. They are the security. So, to turn around and now seek support from your ex-wife is just like you ain't got it to take care of yourself. Like, why you need her money? 
Um, so I do feel like it is a double standard. They're opposed to when women seek spousal support. You know, a lot of women like, oh no, she's entitled to that. She deserves it. You know, um, she put in that time, but you don't really hear that with men when it comes to men seeking, um, spousal support, you know, looking for money in, you know, after divorce, I feel like it's just not looked at as the same. Um, again, when I did the video about Dr. Dre's wife seeking more than spousal support, okay, she is trying to retire and live her best life for the rest of her life. Um, again, I also felt like, you know, a lot of people were saying like, oh no, she deserves that. She put in that time. She took care of his kids. She took care of that. Da, da, da. Like, how come we don't have that same energy when it comes to a man? Like, we don't know what the what, what Stevie J was doing for Faith Evans. We don't know. I, I know it's Stevie. Like, what is he really doing, you know? But any man, you know, we don't know. Like, he could have been taking care of the kids, doing whatever, whatever. So, why not? Why not give him the money as well, I guess? I just feel like it's really frowned upon because it's 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 men. We, um, men should not be, should not rely on a, another woman's money. Um, I feel like that is something that we've always been taught. But all in all, I personally don't understand the point of spousal support. Child support, yes, because that is a little innocent person that this adult and this adult decide to get together and have that baby. So yes, I do feel like there is a purpose in taking care of your child. Yes, you should financially be taking care of your child by any, you know, without question. But why? If you want to leave me, why I got to still be financially supporting you? It's, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I feel as though what you come in the relationship with, you need to leave this relationship with. Um, I don't understand the reason of taking care of an ex financially. Like, what is the reason for that? I genuinely need to understand the logic behind it because I'm not understanding it. Um, if there are children involved, absolutely, I do understand. But if we're just, if it's just you and I and where we were married and now you want to leave, but you also want me to financially take care of you until you remarry. And if the money is good, obviously you're not going to remarry because you want to keep collecting that check. How that makes sense? What is what what exactly am I you want to leave? So why am I taking care of you? You understand what I'm saying? Now I can understand splitting assets, splitting property, whatever things we might have invested it invested in together. I understand things like that, splitting up money and all of that stuff like that. But to give you a monthly check after you done checked out of this relationship. I'm not with it. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. You want me to continue uh, uh, upholding a, a certain lifestyle for you. You're leaving. Leave with what you came with and figure that shit out. I'm just saying. I, d I genuinely don't understand it. Um, I, I respect people who have prenups. I don't have any issue with a prenup. Like if I was getting money big time i would listen you do my side right here on this dotted line because let's be real as much as you love somebody you adore somebody i just had this conversation earlier today where i told my friend you know you know that that feeling of when you like oh my god i don't think i could live without this person yeah that ship has sailed for me i do realize you can live without people you understand what i'm saying now when you say i i don't want to live without this person okay you can say something like like oh i don't want to imagine life without you sure but to say i can't go on without you is not because you do you do move on you you live your life and and it is what it is but nothing lasts forever and that's just the reality of the situation no matter how deep in love we ain't got that old back in the day our, our grandparents and our great grandparents who have 50 plus years 60 plus years of marriage that type of stuff is very hard to find now so 
if things don't last, they just don't last, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to, you have to, you know, protect yourself because people, you. I heard divorce could bring the worst out of a person. And you'd be surprised. You'd be sitting in that courtroom looking like, who the hell did I marry? They'd be ready to take you for everything you got. You understand what I'm saying? Even if somebody did you dirty, like, yo, I don't even want your money if you did me that dirty. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I, I do respect a prenup. I do understand the purpose of a prenup because you have to protect yourself at the end of the day. Yes, you, this is a partnership whatever but at the end of the day you don't came in this month by yourself you gonna leave this earth by yourself so you got to do what's best for you at the end of the day there's nothing wrong with a prenup there's nothing wrong with protecting yourself because then you end up in messy ass situations such as this again i don't understand the point of spousal support if anybody else have a different of opinion and you feel like, yes, it's mu very much necessary, please let me know. Do you think this is a double standard? Because when men ask for spousal support, we, we just frowned upon like, mm, you broke, you bum. Why you can't support yourself? Why you need her money? You understand what I'm saying? But when it's a woman, uh-uh, she deserved that. She put in that time. Why isn't it not the same energy? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. Everything will be in the description down below. This is the fastest freaking two cent Tuesday I ever did. I just did two videos today. I don't know. I'm tired of this vlog mission. <laughs> I am tired. I'm still in the middle of cooking. <sighs> thank you for watching. Jenny is out. Y'all continue to watch this vlog, Miss Doe.